Welcome back, turds. All right, today I'm building the box for the two EVL 18s for my 97 Lincoln Town car. Um, as I said before in the last video, I'm using white oak plywood. This is not birch. Really nice stuff. Uh, I'm going to try to sand it down and maybe clear it and just leave it like that. But who knows? Might do the stone finish like I did on the last one. So all I'm using for this whole build is a was that skill saw and a jigsaw and a drill and that's about it. I'm gonna screw it. I'm gonna glue it and screw it. I wish I could do it without the screws, but I don't have the clamps and all the stuff to do that. So I'm just gonna use glue and screw it. This is gonna be the top piece where the port is. 120 inches of port uh, area or cubic inches and I made this it's like a little guide for my saw I used a piece of birch with a straight edge and then ran my saw down it so I just clamp this to the board run the saw down it and it makes a perfect line really easy to use really easy to make so if you want perfect lines and you don't have a table saw you can make something like this all you have to do is make sure this one has a straight edge screw it to another board run the saw down at one time and that'll set this line where your blade's going to be at but yeah that's about it cigarettes saws and drills baby like i said before the box is going to be nine and a half cubic feet net so that should give it 4.75 for each sub. That's exactly what it calls for for the EVLs. And it's going to be tuned to around 32 to 33. And I'm actually making this port removable. Um, it'll have a little lip around it right here. And it'll be screwed from the bottom. So all I have to do is undo these five screws and a couple screws from the bottom. And the whole port will slide out. That way, if I ever want to meter it at a competition or something, I can put a shorter port in it. Or if I want to make it tune lower, I can add a longer port to it. If you don't have a lot of money like me to buy a table saw and clamps and all the shit it takes to build a box, literally all you need is a skill saw, a jigsaw to cut the holes out, and uh, a drill. And that's it. You can make this. And that's really all you need, so that's like 250 bucks. So this is pretty much the layout of the box. The subs are going to be on top. Port facing the rear. It's a 20 by 6 port. It's going to squeeze just in there. So these are the SDR 18. So I'm doing a review on those first when I get the box built. And then I'm ordering either the EVL 18s or SoundCube HDX 18s, uh, HDX3. I've got two SCAR 1500s, one on each sub, wired to one ohm. So it should power a, I know it'll power a EVL to, to max potential, but it should power the SoundCube pretty good. Of course, the top's gonna be double baffled and probably the sides and then i'm gonna put bracing there's gonna be two braces from the port to the top right here and on the back and i'm also gonna run a brace from one side all the way to the other so it should be pretty good i, I would double baffle the whole thing but i really don't have enough enough room this is this as much airspace as i could get was nine and a half cubic feet and that's with just double baffle in the top and the sides so it barely squeezes in the trunk white oak yeah fuck birch all right got the port done just gotta round everything off Make it flow smooth. Gotta glue and screw that bad boy on there. 
going to round all this off, make that smooth. Round these corners, round all these, try to curve this real nice where it can kind of flow down in there. Then it's time to start building this bad boy. By the way, if you're looking for a cheap cordless drill that's pretty decent, these Bowers at uh, Harbor Freight, pretty decent. I paid 65 bucks for this thing. Pretty damn good so far. I mean, I've only used it twice, but as long as you're not using it every day for work, if you just need it for the house to use every now and then, I mean, 65 bucks, you can't go wrong with it. All right, homies, I'm done for today. Uh, it's about done. I gotta make another baffle for the top, cut the holes in those, and then round everything off, and that'll pretty much be done. I think I'm gonna paint it. I got a little bit of glue on the edges and I could sand a little shit like that off, but there's, I don't know, there's just little spots that are chipped like that. And seems like every time I build one, I get glue all over the damn place and then I end up having to paint it. I'm around the port out, around all the edges, cut the holes in the top, put some Steve Mead uh, terminals. Port. I'm gonna round the back of that out. I'm obviously no professional, so this is just I've built about four or five boxes, and that's what I can do. I got a skill saw and a damn jigsaw. That's about it. So, if y'all think it looks pretty good, like the video and leave a comment. Next weekend, I'll finish it. And then we'll hook the subs up and see how they sound. And see if we can blow them shits. Tell me what y'all think I, I should do. If I should just sand it and clean it up and clear over it. And maybe paint the port. Or if I should go ahead and paint the whole box. Y'all let me know. Peace.